Hello class 10th. In the last means previous lecture we have discussed about the difference between the normal reflection and total internal reflection. Then we have seen the refraction through prism and relation between the angle of incidence, angle of deviation and something more. Today we are going to see the deviation of light to 90 degree, 60 degree, 30 degree and some other uh, prism. You have seen the deviation through prism like the 90 degree, 180 degree and erecting prism. But that prism was having two angle of 45 degree and one of 90 degree. Here one angle will be of 90 degree and the other two will be varying from 60 and 30. So let's see the deviation. So here we are starting the refraction through 90 degree, 60 degree and 30 degree prism. Let's draw a first diagram. So here I have taken one prism, 90 degree, 60 degree and 30 degree. Consider the light is coming from this way and the ray itself is normal on this surface. Suppose this is some naming A, B, C. On the surface AB, the ray itself are normal. So what will happen? The ray will proceed further because it's falling normally, so no refraction. Now the angle of incidence will decide in which direction this ray will go. To calculate the angle of incidence, let's draw normal. Remember this, normal means perpendicular. So see, you can see the, the normal is what? Perpendicular on the surface AC. Now we have to calculate this angle. Then we can, we will come to know about in which direction it will go. So we can see here, this angle is 60. This angle is 90 because the ray is going straight, falling normally. So this is 90, this is 60. So this is what? 30 degree. I'm writing for your convenience. So you can see this is normal, means total angle is 90, so this is 30, so this angle 60. Now we have calculated our angle of incidence which is 60. Now if this is of glass, so glass has critical angle 42 degree. And you can see here the angle of incidence here is 60 degree. Now you can see, you can say that the angle of incidence is greater than critical angle. So which phenomena will happen here? The total internal reflection. Before going that, I want to show you if I is less than C, then refraction. If I is equal to C, then light will graze. And if I is greater than C, then total internal reflection. So here the total internal reflection will happen. So you can see here the light is going in this direction because of the phenomena total internal reflection. And the rule says angle I is equal to angle R means 60 and this will also be 60. Now again this angle is 30, this is 60, 90, this is 60, this is 30. So 30, 30, 60 and remaining angle 120. Then the triangle completes 180. Remember this, this is angle 30 degree, that is 60 degree. So this is 30, this one is also 30. So this becomes 120. Now we have to calculate angle of incidence. This is angle 120, not the angle of incidence. To calculate angle of incidence, we have to draw normal. Then we will come to know in which direction it will go. So here we go with the normal. Again, I want to inform you that this is 30, 30, 60, 60, 30. So this is 30, this is 30. How much? 60. Remaining total angle. The total angle, this I am writing here, total angle is 120. And this normal is 90. So what is the remaining angle? 30. Clear it? Again, total angle 120. Normal only 90. Remaining 30. So this is small angle is of 30. So here angle of incidence is 30 degree. So if angle of incidence 30, which is less than critical angle, because critical angle is 42 degree. So now this case is going on. So what will happen here? Refraction. And the light will go means away from the normal. Why? Because it is going from denser to rarer. See? Now I have removed that written word. So this is angle of incidence 30. Now the ray is going out. So this will be what? This angle will be more than. This angle will be more than 30 degree. Why? It is deviating. So deviating from the normal. So definitely this will be more than 30 degree. How much? We don't know because for that we need that refractive index and we have to solve. In examination, you no need to cal calculate exactly what is the angle of emergence here. Only you have to write, in, uh, since here this is the angle of incidence 30, 
the light is going to perform refraction phenomena and the refraction says here this angle of emergence will be more than this for this angle of refraction for this point so this will be more than the angle of incidence so here it is another example the same uh, prism but the light instead of going from this surface it will insert from this surface like this and since the ray is itself normally coming from the outer rear medium so it will go straight now it is here as i always say where it will go for that we need a normal uh, sorry angle of incidence and for the angle of incidence we need normal let's draw here it is the normal so this is see 30 this one itself a normal and 30 90 remaining 60 so this is the angle 60 not the angle of incidence now the normal and this ray makes 90 this is 60 so angle of incidence is 30 degree now we have calculated angle of incidence 30 degree here 30 degree is less than 42 degree means we can say angle of incidence is less than critical angle so which phenomena refraction it will go out of the prism but with the refraction means after going from denser to there away from the normal see here away from the normal next step what will be the value of this angle means angle of uh, refraction you can say or emergence see here this is the angle of incidence which is 30 the light is going from denser to rear means it is moving away from the normal so this will definitely more than 30 so we can say here this is more than 30 degree no need to calculate exactly what is the angle another case but in this case the light will come from this surface ac so this is 30 this is 60 this is 90 and remember one point this ray is close to the uh, towards the C corner not to the A corner because that's different case so I'm placing is it uh, with the closer to the C corner the ray itself normal so it will go straight like this now we are going to draw normal to calculate angle of incidence so see here this is 30 this is 90 definitely this will be 60 and the remaining angle this is 60 so the remaining will be 30 and we know that 30 is less than 42 degree so angle of incidence is less than critical angle angle of incidence less than critical angle a refraction phenomena will happen so let's do it will deviate away from the normal and more than 30 degree here you can see deviated at little more angle so definitely this will be greater than 30 degree now this ray if suppose this ray is closer to c now if it is closer to the a point let's see what will happen now see here the same diagram but this <coughs> ray is closer to the 60 degree angle the ray itself normal and go straight next step to draw normal let's draw so see here this is 60 this is 90 so this will be 30 but our motto to calculate the angle of incidence which is this so this is 30 this is normal so this will definitely 60 now what you will say the angle of incidence that is 60 degree is greater than critical angle which is 42 degree so means i is greater than c so if i is greater than c so tir will happen so let's draw angle of incidence and angle of reflection both will be same so here you can say this 60 angle of incidence and this 60 is angle of reflection by the phenomena tir again we will draw normal to calculate angle i so for this surface we see what will be the angle of incidence so see 30 60 90 so 60 30 will be 90 so this angle is 30 this angle is 90 30 90 so remaining angle here in this triangle this will be 60 but this is the angle of incidence here this is the normal so angle of incidence become 30 again like this type of case it is less than 42 degree angle of incidence less than 42 degree so the refraction means see here so here it is deviated but again if you have seen uh, after these examples i think you come to know that this will be more than 30 degree so this is done so here i'm taking another example of equilateral prism remember this wherever means means whatever the surface of incident ray the same diagram will be formed means if the ray is coming from this way from this way from this way means from any surface if the ray is coming normal to any surface so the same diagram will be drawn so so i'm drawing one way suppose i'm taking the ray which is coming from suppose which is coming from here 
okay closer to the c point i'm again saying that suppose i'm hinting you that if the ray is coming from this surface it will come to here and it will reflect and go here if the ray is coming from this surface here it will go up to here then it will go out of there suppose it's coming from this closer to a it will come to up to here and it will go out suppose it is coming from this surface it will go up to here and then will go out so from whatever be the path of incidence in this prism but normally on the surface then the same diagram will be formed i'm take i'm drawing the ray suppose is coming from this surface toward closer to the c and see here this way the ray is still normal we'll proceed further like this now we have to decide we have to calculate the angle of incidence so here it is the normal and see 60 this is 90 so this will be 30 but we have to calculate angle of incidence which is what 60 so angle of incidence is 60 which is more than critical angle so if angle of incidence is more than critical angle so tir so what will happen tir let's stop so now this is 60 due to tir this will be also 60 this is done now we have to draw normal here and we have to calculate what is the angle of incidence but in this case don't draw the normal and just calculate what is the angle here right now see 30 60 60 this will be 30 this angle is 30 degree this angle is 60 degree so what is the total angle here means 90 what it is here the ray itself coming normally no need to draw normal 30 60 makes 90 this total is 90 the ray itself becomes normal so it will go straight out of the prism like this without any deviation from here it means it uh, from here the total deviation is 60 plus 60 total deviation is of 120 but what is the uh, different thing is for whatever the path means whatever the direction from it is coming normally to the any surface the same direction so the same ray it will go means suppose coming from here it will go up to here so you can draw and you can try at yourself now next that uh, what you have to try at your home here i am ending this lecture in the next lecture that will be not be visible, uh, video lecture in the next lecture in the next uh, term you will see the solution of the exercise of the questions till then be safe take care and thank you